Well, here's your problem. Stuck. Well guys, our uh, Ben building company is here today to uh, take down the wet bend. Get that out of there, take off stuff off of the top of the bins, the spout that came off the wet bend landed on top of these two taller bins here and ruined the roofs on them, but basically they're just going to be here to remove the junk basically. I'm going to try and stay out of their way and we'll see what happens here, but the plan is the main plan here is to get rid of the 30,000 bushel wet bend that's crushed. So that pipe there is actually the one that used to go to the top of the wet bend. We just used the 7330 to actually unkink the uh, wet bend. I'll show you here. I get a little nervous filming around those guys bug behind the sunglasses so we actually tied a strap on they went up there in the basket and they tied a strap and a chain on and I used a 7330 and we actually unkinked that side obviously it's still ruined and stressed and severely dented still but they want it round so they can torch holes hook chains on and they're gonna lift this out of here and throw it in the field and we're gonna smash it with the excavator when the excavators back here but it was very concerning pulling it with the 7330 it was spinning and digging and then all of a sudden it just popped out but I'm by myself so I couldn't film and drive at the same time Now what? No. Flip it over? I suppose. Man, I just got dizzy looking up at the edge of that. That's sky moving. I wish I had time to take all them stiffeners off. I bet somebody would be happy to have them. That really opened her up, Duggo. Yeah. I like it. Now we just gotta get a new one. I know. We gotta get that guy that does this. <laughs> oh. uh, my thumb has never worked like that. We got more debris here to pick out. The floor is still sitting there. Who's responsible of pulling that out? I, I don't. <laughs> so discouraged. All right, those guys, uh, they just left. They pretty much spent all day. It's like 3 o'clock now. They got here at 9.30 this morning. Pretty much have spent all day moving the crane around, picking off spouts off the top of the bends, miscellaneous bend roofs that lay around, and hopefully now it's safe. And now that everyone's out of here, we're going to tip over this uh, 30,000 bushel bin here so that it doesn't take off rolling across the countryside. So, we're going to try and ram it with the payloader and flip it over. Should be entertaining. wasn't nearly as loud as I figured that would sound like. Yeah, I thought it would be really loud. Oh. It wasn't. Well, now we need his excavator home. So I got sent out here to uh, look to see why this is not running. So these are tiled. Uh, 
I've seen it full before, but I've never seen anything like this. It just don't seem like it's going down. So I've been sent to see if it's running and also see why it's so full. There's a lot of uh, grassland, public land, DNR land, whatever you want to call it, that kind of drains through here and it's, it's running into our field that's supposed to be farmed. Really nothing that we can do about this situation, but wow. Wow! This is supposed to be planted like in before June and it's May 18th today. Just don't know what we're gonna do. Even where the water ain't sitting, like if you plant around them, which is probably what we're gonna be doing regardless. But I'm, I'm pretty much on a hill right now and you can see the ground is nowhere even close. Like this is probably good half a week, week away, just, just on the high ground. It is just black everywhere. It's something, it's something. A year I'll never forget, that's for sure. So right here is the start of the issue. So it comes here and then it's just over top flooding. Like I'm probably 15, 20 feet higher than back where I was just showing you that water in those ponds there. But it's like a 15, 20 foot wide river here that is just running down there. So the tile can't even have a chance. This is just because it's rained so much that the whole CRP and grasslands just plump full of water. Can't really do anything about it besides maybe try to build a little dam here. But it's so mucky, I don't even think you'd get a skid loader to get near this. Or near where you need to make a little, little ridge to prevent this issue till the water evaporates and disappears. So I deem it, uh, a failure attempt here. This is gonna be one of them years. It's just, it's gonna be one of them years where you, you just try so hard to be ready and nothing ever will work. So Randy went out to tickle a field, kind of dry out some wet spots so maybe we can plant tomorrow. And he was a quarter mile away blew up one tire then he got out and looked and there's another tire that's shortly going to be going after so me and Brody got to go put a tire on and then go to the tire fix it shop and <laughs> it's a good thing it's so wet come on Brody so I did just put a tire pretty much exactly like this on that land roller sitting right there that's $275 tire does it look like a $275 tire to you not really, but that's what it is. So we're down four of them. Well, I want four tires because Z ain't gonna make it. So that tire over there is really bad. He needs, if I make it home with that, it'll be as far as it goes. This rim here is de-beaded, uh, pushed off a bit. And I don't know, that tire there, we need a spare, right? So. Yeah. He beat it. It's blowed the whole or, metal rim right, off. Right, it blew the bead off. What? Or whatever. So uh, I want this one maybe up front. You ain't gonna make it to the field. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so close. Quarter we're, mile. We're just a quarter mile. <laughs> so, Remember when you did this the last time and you got a big hematoma inside I, your I leg really and ended up in the hospital because you fell off the frame? I just Sasha <laughs> just sent me a picture of that terrible leg. Start ripping tires, I'll get the spare. Okay, we put the spare on. We moved the tire from the front to the main frame. This one's totally junk. The one with the blowed out rim is now on the front where there should be less weight and he might be able to get it to the field. Maybe he'll be able to dig some, but Brody's covered in tire sealant and we gotta haul butt to town to see if we can get there before they close. Well, we got our new tires in the back and we're driving around the field now. And Randy's just said, you know what? We don't care about the wet spots. We're just sending it. He's gonna dig this whole field. There is anhydrous out here, so it's turn and burn. So tomorrow morning, I suppose, we will uh, load up the planter and get down here. This is one of the new fields that we rented we have never farmed this before, so it is a beautiful lady on a hill. 
and it looks nice. Brody, you get some action shots. All right, pit crew done. Two new tires installed, that's a total of three. <laughs> Unbelievable. But he's gonna work this field up and then go to a different one and we'll see if it's fit. Me and Brody gotta go field scout it. checking fields and it's really really dry up there uh, but not down here not at all he's stuck come out he's got the electric shift and you can't rock a pickup like that with that and he's got no tread stuck here the sun was a major player in the part and as you can see we weren't even sinking here until it was sunk <laughs> look at there's a, there that's our crop this that's fall our crop this year. leftover oh boy here's the boss here's the boss you've never been told don't ever drive into the sun when you're checking a field does it even look wet from this angle well, no, that's because the sun. Did, well, <laughs> you know, it's the funniest Eric thing. I did said that, that right like before right that. Back there somewhere. <laughs> and then I said, this spot's usually wet up here. Well, I don't know why it's wet halfway up the hill, but it got us. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll get in with you and leave this. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, we got ourselves a yankum rope here. We're going to need the kinetic energy before you dig yours down. Hey! <laughs> oh, is somebody hanging? <laughs> this is my favorite part of a stuck, right here. We're ready. Ready for the kinetic energy. Got some damage. Am I lose? Did I lose something? No. <laughs> oh, geez. That'll be okay, that, though. That, that bends back. back. Oh, no! Oh, no! It's, oh, <laughs> God! You pull a shot, you can't hit a deer. Look at this. The you other side, the too. Bumper up. Fuck! Well, this, this is your field. I'm billing you for this one. This is on you. Doggo, this is somehow your fault. Yeah, it's my fault for letting you off the yard. <laughs> well, maybe it'll buff. Maybe it'll buff. Oh, 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 who's gonna wash the rims? That's your concern? Well, there's a lot of concern oh, here. Yeah, you, oh. This is ruined. Yeah. I this think. is ruined. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least you can laugh about it, right? Yeah, it's not my pickup. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What some cheap junk? I might have to go to a Ford. Yeah, we would have never gotten stuck here. <laughs> we would have gotten stuck oh, on God. top of the hill. Do we have to use our pliers? It's so hard. Um, Watch out. 
Just leave it. In fact, do you think they can tell them that it was a deer? <laughs> yeah, everybody drives backwards when they hit deer, right? <laughs> I don't think that's going to work this time. Your whole front. I mean, I don't shot. ever do that. The whole thing is ruined. <laughs> you can't. Hey. Well, that's junk. And the neighbor was out here just a short bit ago, and he was up there, and we're waving him. Get away! Get away! <laughs> it's very wet here! And then he yelled, and we said Doug was coming, so he knew everything was going to be under control. <laughs> Apparently not, though. <laughs> so you don't even have tow hooks? No. No. You need one of them big grills, the black steel grills, and then you can throw hooks on there. Then we could have pulled you out the right direction. Oh, okay. Look at your strutters well, now get, bent. Now I have to trade it. Yeah, hardly used, never on gravel because it's always in the field. Mm -hmm. Don't know how this happened. Came the inside bad. of the rim is packed full of Shut mud. it off here and just tell them it ran one It's going to vibrate worse than it did before. <laughs> Balancing beads. <laughs> Peroni! What's it look like? a lot of mud right there oh yeah so this kids is why you don't try to get yourself out because we kept rocking it till the point that the bumper is on the ground and then when the yankum rope exerted its kinetic energy it ripped the kinetic energy the front bumper <sighs> yeah well guys i hope you enjoyed this video of me destroying my pickup i feel like whistling diesel right now <laughs> you know what? This is something that Whistling Diesel would do. Well, he can do it to his stuff, but I don't like to see that done. Unless he can cash in somehow. Did your pickup make it okay when it was driving away for 40 feet? <laughs> I was braced for impact. I was head against and never happened. <laughs> oh... I do have to say that everything that was in the back here is now in the front. Oh, I didn't think it was very violent at all. Oh, yeah? Why, why is that all pushed up front there? Well, I don't know if you can tell, but the pickup's got a mean shimmy now. I'm gonna have to uh, power wash the rims out tomorrow. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on my expense. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one.